don't like profanity, then leave this video. Do not watch this video. Because I don't see how anything can come out of your mouth but a cuss word or two. After watching that sickening performance that the refs just did against the Lions in the second half of that football game. Yes, granted, the Lions did make some mistakes in the first half. But they made adjustments and came out to play winning football in the second half. So that's beyond the point. That's that's irrelevant. That is not an excuse this time. What the refs did was absolutely murder the Detroit Lions nationally in front of the entire world. Nationally. National TV, you just did your worst. Something that's been going on in the NFL over the last five years more and more frequently. The NFL is a dying football league. And I'm not just saying that just because what they just did to the Lions. We've watched it in Super Bowls, playoff games. It is absolutely horrible. And it is, it is the most worst thing to watch on TV. We have become such a flag-driven league that it is absolutely not fun to watch NFL football. You call a flag on Tracy Walker when he's going for an interception. You missed two pass interference calls. And the Trey Flowers calls was the icing on the goddamn cake. What the fuck were you looking at? He fooled you twice. And you totally ignored on both plays Sean Robinson getting mauled by an offensive lineman, giving him offensive face mask. Hands to his face. Even Trey Flowers on one of them. Bartiari had his hands on his face. But you call it against us. It's the same thing that happened when Aaron Rodgers threw that Hail Mary. The phantom face masking call that allowed him to get another possession. That touchdown should have never happened. Coleman was playing out of his mind. Has he been doing all year? The Lions defense stood up. They gave up the big runs in the first half, but they, they cleaned it up and they stood up. And the refs did everything they could to strip it away from them. I'm not even a fan of the conspiracy theories, but God damn it, if, if the referees ain't the mob, I don't know what the hell they are. They are in people's back pocket. They did everything possible to help Aaron Rodgers' bum ass win this game. Everything possible. Everything in their power. And on national TV, the commentator laid it out beautifully for you. Told you how you as Lions fans was getting fucked over. Excuse my language, but you got fucked over. The, the entire, whoever watched this game, even it's even Packers fans right now on the social media telling people that the Packers shouldn't have won this game. And their team is now 5-1 and one because the NFL could continuing to be the most, I mean, just, I don't even know the correct word to call this league right now, man. The most asinine league out of all, you have a review boo-boo for turnovers, for touchdowns. But when you have a blatant bad call like that on national TV that everyone can see, and it's extremely obvious, there's no way for you to flip the table. Oh, yes, it is on one occasion when the Detroit Lions had a flag and you picked it up. You mean to tell me that you don't believe that it's a vendetta against this team? You're full of shit and you need to stop watching my channel. I'm at the point right now where the right words would get anybody blocked from any of my social media. Tonight is not the night for your bullshit. I'm telling you now. If you didn't watch this game... 
Don't comment on my video until you take your ass back and watch this game. If you got a DVR, you need to go look at those plays. They slowed it down for you on live TV. They explained to you how the penalties occurred. And the ref standing right there looking dead at the damn players and decided to call the same bullshit call twice. The NFL officiating is the worst out of all leagues right now. All leagues. They have the worst officiating out of all leagues. God damn it, it's high school refs that's better than the NFLs right now. I don't know what these old ass men are looking at. Maybe they need to get younger. Because uh, the, these bastards got cataracts or glaucoma or some, something's going on. They can't, they can't fucking see. They're missing everything. Badly. The Detroit Lions should be at the top of the fucking north. Simple as that. But we get fucked over. We get fucked over. That is the current thing that's been going on with this team for the longest. Ever since the curse was declared by that fucking Mason bastard, it's been going on ever since. I can't watch it, man. It's just disheartening. It's disappointing. It makes you sick. It's a sick feeling. Sickness. <sighs> Unbelievable. The NFL is a game of inches, ladies and gentlemen. It's not about a play that you did in the first quarter. That is bad Lions fans' thoughts. We watched Tom Brady win Super Bowls that he shouldn't have won plenty of times. You know why? Because it's a game of inches. Simple as that. I don't give a damn what you did in the first quarter. If you play well enough in the fourth, you're going to win the game. The Detroit Lions played well enough in the second half to win this football game. Period. Point blank, period. There is no excuse for the straight murder that we just seen by these referees. None. I'm doing my best to keep my composure. I'm just interested to see what they say on, this, on TV. It's, trust me. They're probably going to just disregard that, that slaughter job because it's the Lions. But I mean, goddamn. NFL is trash, man. The NFL has turned into NFL Madden. <laughs> it is trash. It is absolute trash, man. So, there you have it. Detroit Lions lose by one fucking point to the, to the, to the Green Bay Packers. A trash-ass team. Wow. On to the next game. Uh, we're officially back in business with the uh, the, the football season, so uh, hopefully one day we can get Deshaun Hand and Mike Daniels back. I don't know what the, the Mike Daniels toe must have fell off, and I don't know what's going on with Hand. I mean, how long did it take to recover? <laughs> so you should have just put him on injury reserve. So I mean, good grief! You know, no digs today, and the Lions still came out and played well enough to win the game. But of course we get fucked over. Five asinine calls. Five. That's five asinine calls. That were game changing calls. These were pivotal calls. Not just some simple first down shit. I mean these are game deciding calls. What are you doing? Roger Goodell, NFL officiating. You can all go fuck yourself. Come on.